Second. We have a motion and a second. Any questions?
I know it's kind of without looking at it on paper. We would, I'd like to do it. Okay, that's not a problem. Not a problem. Thank you. Uh, and I ran into some uh, problem at the landfill. We're going to be working on that. I'm supposed to know something this Friday. Basically, what's happened, they spent the money they've allotted to Bullock County. They've already spent it. So we've run into a dry period between now and June before the other MOA can come into action. So I stopped everything at the landfill. Uh, my met with John, Keith, Lisa, and uh, the states trying to figure out why they've not hired an, an engineer. They're supposed to hire an engineer back in September and October, and that didn't happen. And it's costing a whole lot more than what they had anticipated. Because even during dry weather, we're still getting 25, 30,000 gallons of water. So we're going to be very, very well aware of it. Up, up there, and we've been, I've been on the phone with the judge, the deputy judge, and we're, they're going to let me know by the end of this week, supposedly, exactly what they want us to do. So, right now, they told me to hold up. So, everybody up there knows it. So, hold up on one time, you're trying to put a flight call for I mean, stop that. Stop all that. Yeah, <laughs> so they can give me a letter in writing that they're going to pay for this. And what they're going to have to do to fix this mess, then county attorney uh, and, and myself and Lisa and Keith are just said cool. So we're still popping it all and nope. just let it run. Let it run. Yep. Uh, any other any questions?
25 county license, uh, 26 adoption fees, 48 drop off fees, and we had uh, three uh, small donations of $35 <coughs> individuals, and uh, that equaled out to be $1,970. And the budget percent uh, that I'm at right now is
you build that up, you put some guardrail up, put the fence back up, you took care of that. We had another one, Touch Road. Uh, Mr. Mitchell brought to my attention there was a water issue back there. People got flooded in and had lots of rain. They was trapped 45 families, or 45 families. Yeah. But anyway, we raised the road up about five foot, and uh, or we'll be able to put black top. We're done with it. We had to work with the division of water and uh, got uh, an easement through them to do the project, and everything went well with that. And they appreciated us notifying them about doing that because said most people just do it and don't say anything. They was happy. We still got sent a car back then and done with it. Everything went well with that. Merriman Road, we're going in now, and uh, we had to put six piles in, uh, and we're building the road up and making it wider. And we're going, when we do get ready to black top it, we'll have it ready to go. So. <coughs> we, uh, we all had it. I laid on your office desk a picture of a truck we redid. Truck 15, the bed was just ate up. Holes in it. You put salt in it, rock, whatever, it would just run out the side. We redid that. It turned out real well. But it was only like $450 to do that. We painted it, so uh, it turned out real well. I was real happy with that. <coughs> salt, uh, the other day we had to, we got turned out twice. We used about 241 tons of salt. What we put in. So. We had also, when we was putting the salt down, we had three trucks go down. So uh, we only had 11 trucks, and the three of them goes in, three that we put salt down with or used. And when they go down, it just makes you short-handed. So. But we do have them all back up and going if anything comes up this week, which you're calling for. I'm hoping we'll be prepared for that. Um, we also, one of them broke down, it's not working, and most of the salt we had about 600 bucks. We usually all stuff like that except for being a little bit here. We couldn't deal with it. We were cold. We sprayed it, took a big show out, and then uh, everything froze up, and it had two vehicles out. Yeah, so we had to have that trouble. I don't have you a real true figure on the budget for this creator. I was going to get some money coming in, so we got a lot of money going out. I can't really give you an accurate figure, but our last budget was 52%, and I, with the money coming in, we're going to be about that again. So, but I don't want to give you a figure, and I have to change the next budget. Next so. Do you have any questions? What's the update on the electric? Is there anything to be trusted? Electric? Uh, just any day. Well, you haven't done yet. I haven't got done yet, but uh, with the last snow coming in, and like trying to wrap up some of these big projects that we have going, and uh, it's uh, hoping to get to probably not going to be this week, it's hoping uh, next week we to start on that. Won't be a big job building it, putting it up, it's just getting out of need to put it up, it's to get the crew from them, and how they, they're all okay with what we're doing. So uh, it's just a matter of getting that field set up. Within two or three days, we can have it going. Everyone will take some stuff to help us. But we do need it, especially the temperatures we've got now. I'm going to go on the stair and open that access up because the spring is coming. Uh, I haven't been back there in a while, but uh, I think they do have an access where people can get out there. That's what I'm worried about because we're going to say last year or right again. Yeah. I don't know if they actually built some people to be able to use themselves but there was a way to get them out there. Uh, next time I'm not going to have them out there check and make sure but they did have it at the time which would be in there.
is in a great conference. Mr. Clarity? In zoning ordinance number 16-01, series 2016, in orange change and zoning from R1 residential to agricultural, the property in question is 14.2 acres, more or less, located at 412 Cameron Ridge Road, in an unincorporated area of the county. Congrats for this affordable event, which is the evidence of public hearing from the Planning Commission and the recommendations of the Commission. Congrats for this report concurs in and adopts the reach of the Planning Commission for said zoning change and approves and accepts the recommendations of the Planning Commission in this matter and set out said minutes. And now, therefore, will be ordained by the District Court of Bullitt County, Kentucky. In session one, the above property located in the unincorporated area of Bullitt County, more particularly described in the minutes and records of the Planning Commission, the document number 2015 Z 33. About change from R1 residential to agricultural. Section 2 this order should take effect upon passage of publication. Given first reading and the regular meeting of the Fiscal Court of Bullitt County, Kentucky on the 5th day of January 2016. Given second reading and vote upon and the regular meeting of the Bullitt County Fiscal Court on the 19th day of January 2016. Thank you, Mr. Clary. Action is requested. Make a motion to accept the recommendation of the planning zone. We have a motion and a second. Any questions or discussion on the motion? Ms. Williams, may I call the vote? Yes. Mr. Lawson? Yes. Mr. Lawson? Yes. Mr. Reynolds? Yes. Thank you, Ms. Williams. And number two, second reading of zoning ordinance. 2015C-35, Randy and Donna Hurst, John and Judith Thayer. Uh, the applicant is Randy Hurst, Donna Hurst, John Thayer, Judith Thayer, Coach Hurst, Trustee, and John Holland, Judith Thayer, Revocable Living Trust. Asking to rezone 22 more acres more or less from agricultural and all one residential to all one residential in its entirety. Thank you, Mr. Hurst, case on December 10th. It says a favorable recommendation of this report is Existing zoning classification, given this property is inappropriate and requested zoning change is more appropriate because the property is divided up through the zone. The zoning order number 16-02, series 2016. In order to change the zoning from agricultural and R1 residential to R1 residential, the property in question is 22 acres more or less located at 5371 uh, Creek Road in the unincorporated area of the county. The rest of this report will attend to the evidence of the public hearing of the Planning Commission and the recommendations of the Commission. The rest of this report concurs in and adopts the reach of the Planning Commission for said zoning change and approves and accepts the recommendations of the Planning Commission in this matter in the South seven minutes. Now, therefore, be ordained by the Fiscal Court of Bull County, Kentucky, Section 1, that the above property located in the unincorporated area of Bull County, and more particularly described in the Minister Records of the Planning Commission, the document 2015 D-35. Here I change from agricultural to R1 residential to R1 residential. Section 2, this order should take effect on tax and publication. Given first reading and regular meeting of the Fiscal Court of Bullock County, Kentucky on the 5th day of January 2016. Given second reading and vote upon the regular meeting of the Bullock County Fiscal Court on the 19th day of January 2016. Thank you, Mr. Clare. <coughs> Options requested. Moving. Moved. Seconded. Mr. We have a motion and a second. Any questions or discussion on the motion? Ms. Williams, you may call the roll. Yes. 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 Thank you, Ms. Williams. On number three, I wish to make a motion. But before I do that, may I just check one more thing you should want to three? <coughs> I spoke to Mr. Mike Rouse the other day about this. We'll give a uh, uh, surveyor to see what the road actually width is for us and the possibility of widening and get some clearance together. 
second reading until February the second. That's where I keep getting. Okay, that's my motion. All motion to take on this until February the second. For the second reading on the third second. Yeah, the, the hearing and the planning commission will vote, I think, December 11th. 10th. Yeah. 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 So that, that runs 60 days. Six six days. Six six days. Nine, so that would be the end of 60 days. So, anything beyond that, you have to pass a resolution within the time. Okay, we have a second. Okay. Yeah. We have, a, so we have a motion and a second. And I'm going to have Ms. Williams read the motion. So we're all clear. The motion is to table the second reading of CNM Renovations Series 2015 C 36 until February 7, 2016. Thank you, Ms. Williams. Any questions or discussion on the motion? Hearing none, Ms. Williams may call the roll. Mr. Lesko? Yes. Mr. Reckles? Yes. Judge Roberts? Yes. Mr. Mitchell? Yes. Mr. Lawson? Yeah. And thank you all. Thank you, Mr. Parker, and the folks who are trying to get something done. Thank you. Thank you. you can stay if you want, you can leave. But we will be in contact with you all. I'll be back. Yes. Thank you. Did everybody get their information on the road? I'll try to work something out that road. Thank you. Okay. Number four.
and I ran across it recently and I decided to put it on here also. That live format trigger printer, brand unknown, I'll give you every number I can find on it. I had began a surplus process on it a year or two ago. We gave it up and uh, third floor planning and zoning was using it. Uh, they're not using it now. They said it just doesn't fit their needs. So uh, it's back down in my storeroom and we'd like to see it go. My plan was on all of these items was to hand them over to Larry and just let him process them through the electronics um, and a couple of printers and a old camera PDR. That's a very good question. That's a very good question. You know, the stuff is expensive when you buy it and worth, pretty much worthless when you're ready to get rid of it. It's a shame. Unless one of you would like to back up with a pickup truck, and I'll be more than happy to help cut your tailgate down. Yeah, you know, you know, yeah, yeah. 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 what is it? It's some crazy problem. <laughs>
Rock and County. We're kind of waiting, trying to use out the checks that we have to go ahead and change um, the holding system. So that's why the actual check hasn't been cut yet. So once we use those out, change everything over, then we'll submit that. So that's um, $10,000 that has been paid from all that. How far you go back to our uh, 2002. That's the part you go back. But, I mean, it's, 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 you know, it's accumulated quite a bit of money, more than what we could do if we send it out a letter. Um, and we're able to continuously collect once they still come in. So we don't have to wipe their account clean um, on the original um, debt collectors. How much is that? You know? It's a lot of a lot, a lot. Um, so you take the $25 a day for every inmate that comes in and so they become a state inmate. Um, in the county inmate, $25 a day, it runs up. Um, the magical, uh, if they care of something, you know, so all we do is charge them, but they don't always pay. So it's just, we do the best we can do um, on every entry. But these are old, these are old, old, old debts. <coughs> they doing a pretty good job is collecting them. And that house is quite a bit of money to collect some old, old debts. Also, I'd like to, before I give y'all this check, we had a, um, I also did that down on the weekend. And um, it was pretty bad. So I'd like to thank the Sheriff's Department, uh, Shepherdsville, uh, Lemon Junction, that responded to it because um, he got hurt pretty bad and if it wasn't for them responding as quick as they did, he could have been my worst. Is this in the jail or? Inside of the jail. Oh, wow. um, I just didn't have enough manpower to handle it. It was just too bad. So um, he's back out of the hospital. Um, but I'd like to thank everybody for responding as quickly as they did. Um, a lot of the ones that had worked there before and we got work to do, which was a plus for us, they have went to other agencies on that junction, the sheriff's department. Um, so they were able to jump right back in there and pick up what they left off at. So I was really proud of that and really honored and thankful for that. Um, also, there's a check for $16,433.46 for
it basically has been presented at this report of Okay. Okay, so action is requested for this report to accept this document into the court records. I'll make a motion to accept this report of the document share Sorry. We have a motion and a second. Any questions or discussion on the motion? And Ms. Williams, you may call the vote. Mr. Maslow? Yes. Mr. Rangel? Yes. Judge Roberts? Yes. Mr. Mitchell? Yes. Mr. Lawson? Yes. Thank you, Ms. Williams. I don't have anything else other than the sign-in sheet. But if you don't mind, if the court would consider going back to the new business on where you reform the Chuck Callahan to the same thing. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. If you could, Ms. Blair and I looked at that, and we believe that the appropriate expiration date would probably be March 31st. Uh, the district is currently set up to where they are not staggered as they should be, mm -hmm. and what we're trying to do is to get them back into a good order. So if you would amend your vote to have this term expire on March 31st, 2020 is fine. Okay. You would do so. Also, I will acknowledge the board or the vice board because you still have a vacancy on that board. I mean, both have three, you still have two, so the next one should be able to have another point as soon as possible as far as that takes you. Thank you, Mr. Wolfers. What is the qualifications? I don't know. Okay. You just have to be a resident of the district. And the sanitation district, other than uh, basically incorporated cities, takes everything from Harvey County to Jefferson County to Nelson, uh, Spencer,
Thank you. 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 Thank you.